Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to transfer ownership of a Google Drive file and in turn, an entire Google Drive account. Let's say you want to change email addresses or someone's leaving your company. Um, this will show you how to make sure you don't lose all of these precious files and you can still edit them and do all of the things that the owner of the file would do. So go ahead and log in to your current Google Drive account and find and locate the file or folder that you want to transfer ownership of. And what you want to do is you want to right click on that file or you can just select the file and then up here in the upper right hand corner you will see the share option here. But the easiest way is to just right click and then go to share right here. And then you'll see this box presented to you. It'll say share the name of the uh, page and then it'll give you a box to type in who you want to share this file with. So for me, uh, this is one of my other email addresses here. So I will go ahead and share that with my new email address or the person that you want to become the owner. Now, this is step one. So once you've done that, make sure this is set to editor and then go ahead and click the blue send button there. Now, once you've done that and shared that file, you will then see a, a little icon next to that file that shows kind of like a couple of people here that says that it's shared. Now what you want to do is just right click on that file again, go to share once again. Now you're going to see that person that you've shared it with under the options that say people with access. Now there's going to be a new drop down menu here that says editor. If you click the drop down menu, there is now an option that says transfer ownership. If you click on transfer ownership, it will say you'll be the owner until this person accepts the ownership. So the way this works is they'll get an email notifying them to that new email address. Hey, you've been given the permission to take ownership of said file or folder. Uh, and do you want to accept when they accept? you will no longer be able to permanently delete this file. You will no longer be able to have any access as far as who can edit or do the things as far as sharing abilities of the file either. So make sure this is something that you want to do. So go ahead and click the blue button that says send invitation. And then as you can see, you are still the owner currently, but when they accept it, this will change from pending owner to owner and you will be moved to editor or whatever uh, access they want to give you. Uh, if someone's leaving your company or school, I recommend going and once you've accepted the ownership from the new account, go to that file or folder and change that from editor uh, to viewer, uh, or you can remove access altogether, which is probably what you would want to do. Now, let's say you have an entire Google Drive account. You're leaving somewhere like a school or a company or a corporation, and you want to move it over to a personal Drive account couple of things. Number one, make sure there is enough storage. So as you can see, I'm using just over 300 gigs here. You can see that underneath storage and I have up to two terabytes that I can use. But if the new account doesn't have the uh, ability to store the files or folders that you're going to be giving the ownership to, it, it won't matter. You'll have to buy storage, right? Don't run into that. That's just a pro tip. So the easiest way to do this. Now, if you own or manage a G Suite account, you can do this via settings. But the easiest way of going about doing this is right here when you've logged into your current drive, there's going to be a little arrow right next to my drive. If we click the arrow, we're going to see this big folder here. So whatever you named your Google Drive in the beginning, so you can see here, if I click that folder, it's going to show me everything in my drive, okay? So that's going to be right here. But if we click the arrow once more, it's going to break it down even further into our other folders. So maybe you just want to share you know, certain folders as opposed to others. I just showed you how to do that. So what you want to do now is just right click on the drive here, right under your drive there. You can't do it under my drive. It's got to be selected the name of your current drive, right? And then once you've done that, go to share, just like this here. And you want to go through the same process I just showed you. You want to go ahead and share that with the person you want to transfer ownership to. So we're gonna go ahead and go to send by clicking that blue button there. This is step one. Then what you want to do is you want to right click once more, go to the share button again. Now what you're gonna see is another drop down menu. If you click the drop down menu now, you can transfer ownership. Be careful. Once you do this and once they accept the ownership from the email they receive, you will no longer be able to delete any of the folders, any of the files, any of that, okay? If you did, if you, you know, happen to do this by mistake, 
you kind of have second thoughts, you can always right click here and go to remove access before they accept permission to transfer the ownership. So that's how you transfer ownership of specific files and folders, as well as transfer ownership of an entire Google Drive the, the easy way. There is a way to do it more kind of, I guess you would say, kind of tying in the, the, the loose knots if you want to go into settings, if you're a Google Suite owner, uh, and it's very easy, you go to settings, and then go to drive and dock settings, and then once there, you'll basically uh, just see an option where you can transfer ownership. Just make sure you suspend the owner after you do so, so they have no access or ability to do anything. All right, so that's it. That's how you transfer ownership within Google Drive. If you have any further questions, please put those in the comments section below. I'll get to those as soon as I can, and I will see you guys in the next video.